Alright, so hey guys, it seems like we have a lot and a lot of Valorant console comments and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be reading Valorant console comments. I wanna see all this juicy content. You know, people have been posting. Some are really weird, some are really good, some are really structured. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. About like 1% of you is subscribed, I think. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's hit 15k. So, this is actually hilarious or underrated Lamau. I love this one. And I've been playing Warface for a year now and it's really fun but has problems. But the problems are pay to win, stripe pack, chronos, cheaters and servers but not controls. Also we have no aim assist in competitive mode in Warface. Competitive mode is like a huge thing for Valorant. It's like the whole integrity of esports is made under competitive mode. No aim assist. I guess that could work, right? Because it works for Valorant, except if you have a shit game. Uh, you don't have good controls, you have cheaters in there. As he said, I really think Valorant could succeed not only in the console market, but also in the console engine. Because they have a lot more expenses, this is a really, really good one. Um, and Riot is a respected company and it would damage their image if they sent Valorant into consoles defective. Anyway, in short, I really think that, that there will be Valorant well console. I think that's a great, great analogy, to be honest. That's a good one. Um, I kind of did this in a PDF. Should be working though. Maybe quality lost a little. But you know, it took me time. Um, this one is the best. I'm very good pl CSGO player. I'm very curious how good I will be in Valorant. <laughs> I mean, who even types this stuff? Who even types this stuff? Holy shit. Um, like seriously, what the heck? Uh, it's the map and the movement. Um, because I did a video on why Valorant is losing players, because the hype is dying and whatever. So heroes have powers to get into position or it is the top of that. You have to check thousand angles before you go in. Trust me, Valorants have a lot of angles. It's suffocating the sides themselves that in clutch weird heroes of enemy team use power. You hardly even have any place to hide. Uh, that is true. CSGO aside is so big when you compare it and agent speed is slow. That's true. Um, on... On Valorant, it's really hard to push, I guess. But then again, you see a lot of great pushes. Usually, they aren't flawless, though. Usually, you lose someone and not feel any adrenaline rush even after the ace. I do feel an adrenaline rush after the ace, to be honest. The gun sounds are bad, too. Has to be tick tick. The sound is more like a suppressor rifle, and the worst thing is lack of utility. You either are a character with two flash or two nade or two smoke. I don't, I don't think that's a good analogy, to be honest, because Valorant is, ha you have to pick a character with a flash, with abilities, stuff like that. You don't want to have every character with abilities. Each one, each character has to be unique, right? For post plant, you can't pick any utility off anyone. Um, that's not a bad thing, to be honest. Imagine if you took a site and you used all the utility before. Now you don't have any utility left, right? That's pretty pretty awesome because you can, as a defender, you can retake that site uh, because the enemy has lost all its utilities to kill other players. Um, and you used your pure your powers for map control. Only thing is to do the Russian A side at the end. That the, the op meta is taking over. The op meta is not that good because the players still haven't learned the op meta for some reason. Um, this one is one of my favorites. Like, I made a Valorant console video, like, he posts something really normal. Valorant 3 co pattern, you will be so much AIDS, but sure, Rainbow and Valorant are alike as game swap content. Not as engine, though, has more CSGO feeling than a Rainbow. If you think about it, CSGO and Xbox will be horrible. And why is this also implies in Valorant? So, Valorant console and the release date are huge controversies. And then... I make an omen outplace, which is like a beginner tutorial. Dude, you're explaining basic stuff. And then, then he goes, on each video, he goes more offensive. Are you a pro? Because I made how to go pro in Valorant, of course. Um, dude, you don't know anything. Just stick to Valorant news. And that, that's when he left. That's when he left my channel. One, one, one like equals one, one rip for Kaipi. Seriously. If they do it, please don't have aim assist. That's one for Valorant console. We are console players, don't need this aim assist uh, on console. It's just people have used it for so long, they're very bad without it, like me, XD. <laughs> I play a lot of Rainbow and I'm plat to level 1 on PS4 and I have to turn my aim assist on all other games because it's way easier once you play without it for a while. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege is a great example, to be honest. I think that's great. Ah, uh, this is my classic one, Christian. Christian found his way onto YouTube. You are so fucking annoying. I thought he meant to type enjoying. 
Nobody knows. If anyone knows, let me know in the comments. Did he mean annoying or enjoying? Uh, for Revive Man, it will go into open beta. I think um, Valorant console will not, never, ever, ever, ever be in open beta. How it will work is it will just be a full release. That's how it's gonna be. They're gonna make a trailer, like announcing Valorant console. Bam, coming on, let's say, September 14th. That's a made up date because it won't come out to September 14th. Otherwise, um, I'll just, I'll just, I don't know, become a breach main and pro is breach content forever. Seriously, four to five months, it will never go to open beta because I don't think Valorant console needs an open beta because they will have testers. Here's like a spam link, you know, that kind of, I bypass it. I check my comments and then just someone types, no, you weirdo. <laughs> I really like that, that one. Uh, this is a good analogy. Just like a Crossfire X gunplay like CSGO and plays great on a controller. Sad part is beta is down. I feel you, it sucks. Rest in pepperonis, Crossfire X. Um, I guess Crossfire X didn't really uh, live up to the hype. I mean, it still works, but I don't know. Look at this. Players leaving Valorant. And this guy typed, I'm first. And this was like, no, me. Fuck off. I was first. <laughs> oh my god. I love these comments. This one is my favorite. Fortnite is not slowly dying. Stop saying that. Just because you're bad at the game and don't play doesn't mean dying. It probably has the five players of Valorant, which my opinion is boring ass game. Fortnite is dying. <laughs> these are the same two comments. These are very related comments. <laughs> Uh, I, I love how I'm getting some Japanese comments here as well. That's a great thing. Uh, Giorno only fans when? Probably, probably when I have to pay bills. <laughs> Seriously, legit. I just really hate Valorant. I don't, I don't own a PC. Okay, that's a, that's a thing I want to talk about. A lot of people can't afford a PC, right? But there's a lot of people, a huge portion of Valorant console players, or just console players in general, who can't afford a PC at all. And I think that's a huge problem, to be honest. Not everyone is as rich as everyone, as me, or whatever. But seriously, not everyone can afford a PC. Not everyone can afford a console. It has to be one or another. And usually the consoles are much, much cheaper. Consoles are like 200 euros now. A PC is 700 euros, at least. It's a big difference. And a lot of people aren't living in countries and wages where, you know it's okay to buy a console and you can eat normally the next day it's not like in us where you get like 6k in manhattan and just put 200 dollars for your ps4 seriously i think that this is a huge issue um i just really hate Valorant. i don't own a pc but i tried before thanks to my friend but it's so sweaty i should have expected since it's very competitive heavy so it's very competitive i would say that how about you make a video when it comes on pa pa for bitch pa for that's a new console. New console release day? Seriously, what the heck is PA4? This game is buff. This game is bad. And he, he wrote both on my Valorant console videos. I don't think people like that even watch the video. This one is this one is my favorite. Uh, it was under my roof. Fuck you, fat fuck. And that, uh, that was for a Valorant console. I don't know who let this kid onto YouTube. Who let this kid onto YouTube? Seriously. Thanks for news like this, because I really want to play Valorant and don't have a PC. I really like. I really appreciate that. And you're the only one who has been answering any questions. Thanks, man. Yeah, I've been making a lot of Valorant console keyboard videos. I've been making a lot of Valorant console videos, and I think that's great. I think that's great. I think people enjoy watching them, um, and I like to build a community like that. If if some, one person is watching me until now, and it, this is helping him, this is entertaining him, this is really good. I, this is making my day, to be honest. Um, I have a lot more of YouTube time to actually put into, so I can put like two months into Valorant console and then focus on other stuff. What the fuck? You don't have aim assist on mouse and keyboard Fortnite? Actually, yeah, you don't. Or any other game. COD, Gears of War. Um, I, I think some people just read the title and think like, holy shit. Okay, this is one of my subs. In CSGO, I did go pro. I, I did some LAN tournaments and won about $500 total. I never made to FPL. I never got too far. This was never my goal, but I always thought it would be cool. Pro, because I made a video on going pro, right? To be pro, in my opinion, the best way is to work your way through teams, start small, and get bigger. This is like a quick advice for anyone. Thanks, Puffin. 
Okay, so Riot might be staying quiet about our console working in a secret, Jimin fanboy. Um, that might be it. That might be it. Because our console is a huge thing right now. Um, and they don't want to, you know, leak anything. They don't want to get leaked. Keep in mind, Rainbow Six Siege has no aim assist in its console. I made a video on that like four times. <laughs> or like, okay, I mentioned it four times. I made a specific video on that once. So true, every Nintendo player have a PC. I wish, I don't wish I did. Okay. <laughs> what? I don't wish I had a PC. I, I don't, I don't even understand some comments here. Uh, seriously though. I really want to thank you for all the support we've been getting. We've been getting a lot of subs. Uh, uh, I'm almost 1k actually for just Valorant console. And I think this is really great because Valorant console is going to come out most likely. I don't have like a specific of all, but I have a lot of theories that provide that. And people are actually building up a community. There's a community coming, you know, over. Um, and it's actually growing and growing daily, which I find great. I really thank you for that. So definitely tell me what you want to see next. And this is it for today. This is Femme, sign out. Peace, guys.